Hello, this is Marcus Watka, the General Secretary of PCS, with an important message for all our representatives on the rapidly changing situation in relation to the coronavirus pandemic and whether or not our members should be asked to return to the workplace if they've been safely working at home. Now, earlier in the week, I issued a message to all members where we welcomed an assurance we'd received from the Cabinet Office that said, despite Boris Johnson's address to the nation last week, the advice for us was the same as it had been for the last four months. Work from home where you can. Employers should be encouraged to invest in technology so that more people who want to can work from home. And anyone who has to be in a workplace, it must be safe. Unfortunately, that all changed over the last 48 hours. Yesterday, we were summoned to a meeting with the Cabinet Office where we were told that Alex Chisholm, the head of the civil service, had written to all permanent secretaries to say that the civil service had now decided that to comply with Boris Johnson's speech to the nation, we must accelerate a return to work. Apparently, this is because we need to boost the flailing economy. Well, the problems with this statement are huge. Firstly, the way to boost the economy is not to ask hard-pressed, low-paid civil servants to risk their health and safety by now going back to work when it is not necessary. The real way to boost the economy, of course, would be to give us the 10% pay raise that we're asking for to ensure that our low paid members actually had more money to spend in the shops and on goods to really stimulate the economy. Yet they want us to accept a below inflation pay raise. But it's also problematic in a number of other ways. Next week, we're gonna put on a series of briefings on Monday, John Maloney and Fran Heathcote will address group presidents and serious senior negotiators. That'll be followed on Wednesday of next week, where John Maloney, Fran and myself will address all of our reps. And then we'll have a Facebook Live event for members. That's in order to ensure we can give you guidance and support and answer your questions. But these are the issues at stake. Let's take what Alex Chisholm has said to permanent secretaries. He says that Boris Johnson says we have to go back to work. In fact, that's not what Boris Johnson said. Boris Johnson said that each employer should now make a decision. So Alex Chisholm is clear that the civil service as an employer has now made that decision. They didn't do it in consultation with the unions. They just announced it. And yet, in the same meeting, we're told that each department has delegated responsibility to make its own mind up what it does. And yet we know already that departments are being told they've had a central line from government by the Cabinet Office that they must accelerate a return to work. They can't have it both ways. We're clear, the civil service is the employer. There should be a national agreement with the civil service before anybody is asked to change what they've been doing over the last few months. And if that's going to change, it can only be done in discussion with us. There are so many things they need to put in place before it can be safe to return to work. Our five tests must be met. There must be a quality impact assessments for our black members specifically at risk. There must be individual assessments. I mean, have they even begun to think that they're asking people to go back to work just when the summer holidays begins and there will be no schools open because teachers have their own concerns and anyway are off in many parts of the country, meaning there will be real childcare issues for people. Have they begun to think about the public transport problems? How are they going to implement the two metre social distancing? What about the risk assessments required in every workplace to establish what is a safe limit for the amount of people that can be in work? There are so many questions that are yet to be answered that it is clearly premature to make a political decision to use the civil service to now start going back to work. And that's what this is. It's no coincidence that this change of heart comes after we've seen right wing conservative MPs take to the media to criticise the civil service for all sitting at home when people can't go on holiday and can't access services. We deserve better than that. We have demonstrated, as the Prime Minister himself has had to accept, a magnificent ability to keep frontline services running with a mix of some people being at work when they need to be and everyone else working safely from home. So next week, we will talk through the guidance for everyone to go into the negotiations with. We're determined to try and get a national agreement, but we're also determined to ensure that you as reps are armed with the arguments to take up with our employers. And finally, let me say this, we're not prepared to accept that anyone's health and safety is put at risk. So apart from arming you with the arguments 
to take up with employers, apart from reassuring you that we're doing everything we can to try and get a national agreement. We also want you to be clear of this. If there is a mood and our members are not prepared to risk their health and safety, the union will support everyone, both collectively and individually, to do everything possible to keep our members safe. So let me thank you in finishing for the fantastic work you've been doing over many months. Let me say it's because of the work that you have done at all levels that we've been able to get the agreements that have kept so many people safe now for so many months. And because of that work we've done, now is not the time for us to accept that a political decision can be allowed to put our members' health and safety at risk. So I hope you found this update useful. I hope you can attend one or all of the events that we will do next week. And in the meantime, let me thank you again for everything that you're doing. And we look forward to working together to keep people safe in the coming weeks and months. Thanks very much.